Last week, I was uh, uh, reading one verse from uh, Job, chapter, uh, last chapter. <coughs> Job, the book of Job, uh, uh, chapter 42, verse 7. Uh, it came about after the Lord had spoken these words to Job. The Lord said to Eliphaz the Temanite, My wrath is kindled against you and against your two friends, because you have not spoken of me what is right as my servant Job has. So, you know, I, was, I found it very interesting. You know, God was uh, angry with uh, uh, the friends of Job because they did not say, they did not speak what was right about God uh, because you have not spoken of me what is right as my Job has. So I was thinking about that. Uh, so it is possible that we may be having a wrong opinion about God. Our knowledge of God may be altogether wrong. And we speak about that to others, or we give a wrong image of God to others. It was coming to me, someday even to children, you know, our own children, it can happen. We, we give a wrong image of God, maybe like an old man with a stick. The only business of job is punishment. No, that is some, some we can have wrong image. We, we have a wrong image ourselves, and that is what we can pass on to others. So it was, I was just thinking about it. It's very, very important that we know God correctly. We know God who He is. And uh, then we speak the right thing. And we spread, we give the right image of God to others. Uh, uh, for example, God is love. Is that what others learn from us? Or <laughs> something else? God is love. That is the foremost quality character of God. Is that what our children learn from us? No, I was, I was asking myself. We give very often a wrong image about God to unbelievers the place, and the, in the place of our, in our own home. We pass on wrong image about God himself, a wrong character of God. People get misunderstanding about the character of God. So it can be very dangerous. It's written that God was angry when these people spoke about him what was not right. So it is very, very important for us to know God in the right, know God ourselves first, know in the right way. For example, God is love. And also gave that image to others. Uh, uh, I, I was, uh, no, I, uh, I read that Brother Stack was uh, saying, you know, is something transformed his life. What was that? In, uh, in uh, uh, John 17, when Jesus was praying, Jesus uh, prayed, uh, like, uh, let others uh, know that, let the people know that they, uh, God, uh, Lord, you love them as much as you loved me. <laughs> so he got a revelation about that, to transform his life, you see. Because uh, when he thought, you no, know, we all know that God uh, loves us. And uh, that measurement varies, you know, we do often think God loves a little bit. But... It, that itself varies, but he got a revelation that God loves as much as God loves Jesus. For me, I have not got that revelation. Still, I think I discovered that it is there in the Bible. So it is up to me to believe God loves me as much as he loved his son Jesus. So it, if I believe that, I need to change my life. So I, I hope to have the revelation that God may speak to me and that can provide such a confidence in our life. So it is important to have the right understanding about God. We know in uh, one of the parables which, which Jesus spoke, the, uh, the servant who received one talent, he buried it, and he is speaking something about his master. What is he saying? You are a hard person. So that's what something we also think. You are a hard person reaping something where we have uh, not sown, and uh, gathering things which, which are not scattered. This is, the, this is the opinion he carried about his master. He was not faithful himself. He hid what was given to him. He did not work with it. But he, this was the opinion he had. He was, his master was a hard person. 
Very often we don't speak. Maybe inside us, this may be the image that we may have about God. No, in the, as Brother Matthew was sharing, I was thinking, you know, slowly these years God was doing something in me also. I had also such a tremendous sense of security. The, always I had a negative image of God. I, not, I cannot honestly say that it is completely changed even now. But I can see Holy Spirit doing a work in me. And increasingly more and more, God is, Holy Spirit teaching me, God as a father who loves me. And he, he desires the very best for me. He doesn't desire a calamity for me, something bad to come in my life. He desires my very, very best. So it is up to me to believe. In uh, Timothy, Paul is telling, Paul is telling to Timothy, uh, even, though you are, even though you are not believing, God is faithful. He is faithful. So, God is faithful. He is love. It is up to us to believe. Whether we believe or not, God doesn't change His character. His character is the same. God is God. If we believe, it is good for us. We can enjoy that. If we believe that God loves me, I get that security. And, but God is the same. Whether we believe or not, God loves us. That is the truth. That is the reality. It is good to us to believe that. And it is good to us to get a revelation about God's love. 